Hi, I'm Danny O'Connor, and I'm the uh, field CTO for Data Dynamics. Uh, when I used to run infrastructure technology a number of years ago, we ran processing and data management on site with our own environment, um, or a replica of that environment with a third party service provider. And the growing demand for more compute or storage was manageable. We just bought more processors and every storage away we bought was more gigabytes for less money and a more compact casing with less power and cooling requirements. Um, but the world has changed significantly. It's predicted that by 2030, we will have over 570 zettabytes of data. That's 10 times more than today. Also, we need to know more about our data. The regulators insist on it and the custodians of our data need to be responsible. It, it opens up a number of questions and challenges. Why am I creating the data? Or why am I capturing the data? Am I gonna do something with it that generates value? Where is it located? Do I need to know that? Do I care? Should I care? Is it sensitive data? Does it need to be protected? Should I keep my data on site or in the cloud? Is it safe in the cloud? How can I find out all the data about me? After all, I do have a right to know anything about me. And of course, many, many more questions. I think as the future unfolds for data management and processing, we will see an expansion of the current hybrid model, um, some in-house, some external, and obviously the increasing utilization of the cloud. We'll probably also see more adoption of edge or fog computing where the data and processing takes place closer to the source of generation or requirement. One thing is for sure, understanding your data, ensuring the important things are protected and managing it in an optimal way will be more important than ever. The Data Dynamics Management Platform is uniquely positioned to deal with these future challenges. Why don't you go and have a look?